Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Lou Fru Fru Studio. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another uh, No Digitals Allowed Make. And this week I am going to focus on using some wallpaper. So, um, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, if you watched that, I told you that over the weekend I was doing some redecorating, and um, one of the things that I did in the room that I was working on is I uh, put some of this paintable wallpaper up on a focal wall, and it is, um, I don't know if you guys have ever used this or not, but it's pretty cool. Um, there's several different styles that you can get. You can get it to uh, look like um, a slat wall or a, they have one that has kind of a... Um, damask pattern on it. There's several different styles, but the one that I had and I wanted to use looks like 10 tiles. So what I have done is I have cut out one of the tiles and um, I'm gonna use that as a pocket and we're gonna do a little stuff pocket kind of make. The other uh, paper that I had in my stash was this really cute paper that's got animals on it and uh, I will show you a bigger piece um, I did not use this in what I was doing but I just saw it when I was going to my wallpaper and I thought that wouldn't be cute but this is what it looks like um, on the roll, it has these cute little animals and kind of this plaid pattern here with some florals and there's deer on here and there's the rabbit, which you can see I cut out there. So it's really cute wallpaper. It's got some postmarks on it and some, um, writing and just different kinds of things that's really cute and i picked this up at a thrift store and then here is what the paintable wallpaper looks like it looks like this which when you put it up it looks like ten tiles so it's pretty cool and you can paint this with any kind of paint that you want to to make it any color and so it's kind of a thicker, squishy um, type of wallpaper that's made to handle the paint. And uh, it looks really cool. So I kept a couple of pieces. I cut a couple pieces out of the... Um, animal one and then I cut like I said one of the tiles out of the paintable and so the first thing that I want to do is I want to put some color on this and you can leave it white if you want to but I have found that even if you're going to leave it white um, it looks better if you paint it. So, um, which is what I did in my room. And if I think about it, I'll take a picture and post at the end of the video so you can see what it looks like on my wall. All right, so I have pulled out Rustic Wilderness, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. Because I think this green is going to match this green. And so I'm going to take my little makeup brush and I'm going to just rub this on here. So that we have a green pop. 
pocket. And you can do this, like I said, with any kind of paint that you want. You know, when it's on my wall, I use just the, you know, interior paint, regular paint. So, I'm sure the sock side's going to be fine. And I'm doing different levels or amounts of ink so that it's darker in some spots than it is in others. I just want to get, you know, a pretty good coverage everywhere. You can make these look like rusty uh, tin tiles if you wanted. I think that would be really cool. I just wanted to use the green because we have the green in the other wallpaper. And I'm focusing mainly on getting that green down in the flat parts because I'm going to take a silver metallic distressed crayon and rub across the top and try to get it on just the raised up parts. And we'll see how that goes. If I don't like it, then we'll do something else with it. So this is, like I said, a distress crayon, and it is a metallic silver, and I'm going to lightly rub it across here. And the reason that I'm doing the silver is because you can't really see it on camera, I'm sure. But these little postmarks and whatever are kind of a silvery metallic. So I wanted to kind of pick that up in this. So I'm going to go around the edges. And like I said, I'm just focusing on the parts that are raised. I'm just kind of take my finger. My finger tool. That's my, our most valuable tool, isn't it? I'm kind of rub that a little bit. Okay, so there is our pocket. 
and I am going to glue it on to, uh, you can't see, but it is, I mean, I'm sure you can't see, maybe you can. It does have just a little bit of metallic sheen to it. And I'm gonna glue it on here because this is a pre-pasted paper. So if something was to happen and it was to get damp on the back side, you would glue it to whatever you're working on. So, and I probably could have just wet it and stuck it on this book page, but we're gonna do it like this just to keep the water from getting to the front because the water would also activate the distress outside and we don't want that to happen. Cut around that real quick. say real quick and I'm not a real quick fussy cutter so Okay, so there's our pocket, and then I have a little Tim Holtz girl, somewhere I'm going to stack here. Here she is, and I'm going to put her on here, and I'm going to put her about right there, so it looks like she's kind of leaning on part of this design, just like that. I'm gonna ink around her a little bit. And based on the colors, I think I'm gonna do Um, I actually think I'm going to do hickory smoke. Let me grab my archival ink here. No, I don't want archival ink. What am I thinking? I want... Alright, where are my... Distress inks. Do I want, yeah, I think I want hickory smoke. Okay. Little dauber, one of my little daubers here.
this is just to kind of knock off that white edge so it doesn't show so bad. These little daubers are great for inking these book paper dolls. The smaller size really helps with that. I'm going to glue her on. I'm going to try with our glitter glue. It may not be thick enough because of the, the rise of the um, wallpaper. And I may end up having to go back and do some touch up with some Fabri-Tac. And I just realized that little spot is not poked out there. Get out of there. Okay. We're going to put her right down there. Give her a good smoosh. And then this piece is going to be the back of my tuck, or my pocket. And so I'm going to back this because it is wallpaper, so it won't roll up. Um, probably not necessary because when you glue it down to your page, yeah. I'm not going to do that. I was going to um, put a backer on it, but I think it's going to be okay because this will be glued down to the page, and then our pocket will be right here. So I'm going to connect it right around the outer edge of our little... piece here and I'm not going to worry about the little rounded parts because my cards aren't going to fall through there you could also put it up higher and make it kind of like a belly band situation if you wanted. Got that overhanging just a little bit. So I'm going to trim that off. And then I think because the edges are rounded on the on this, I'm gonna round these edges as well. I think it'll look better. 
So I'm going to round those and then ink around the whole thing. And I'm using the half inch. And again, I'm going to use the hickory smoke. It won't be heavily inked. But in this case, I just think the gray is going to look better than a brown. Alright, so there is our little pocket. Now let's make whatever we're going to make go inside. So, I have a where I cut the rabbit out and um, he is going to be a tag so I am going to glue it to this cardstock one because the color goes well and two um, again it's wallpaper so it's not real sturdy so we want to give it And the back is fairly plain, so you can write on it. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of a border. So you can see the green. Try to get it straight. All right, and let's trim that. Okay, so I actually like that one without cutting the angles. More like a journal card than a tag. So let's round these corners and just leave it kind of like a journal card. And stick it down in there. Alright, now we have this piece because I wanted to get some of that plaid in there. Um, and again, I'm going to back it. And this one I'm going to back with just coffee dyed paper. that out. Did I miss that edge? Of course I did. Okay. 
Put a real mat. All right, and this one I will cut the edges on to make it look like a pocket. I mean a tag. Sorry about that. It didn't like that because the glue is still wet. It's okay, we'll clean it up here. Alright, and then I'm going to... Yeah, I got that round the bottom, keeping with our round theme. And this time I'm going to use just the quarter inch. Not with that, you're not. That's the rounder. Sorry. I had the wrong one. I'm going to use the small angle. No, I'm right. Goober. And put my home on the top. I'm sorry for the reach. And put a couple of hole reinforcers on there. And I'm going to get some that are plain so I can do the gray. And just kind of put the gray on there. Not real dark. And ink around the edges. And then I have this little die cut that I'm going to put on here because I thought the colors went really well with it. So I'm going to put that on. And this is 49 in Market. This little floral die cut. And then I have some Tim Holtz Stamps. I'm going to find a green one that I like. this one Let's stick that on there 
And then I thought it would look cute to stamp a postmark on there with uh, embossing embossing stuff <laughs> and do a silver postmark. So where are my embossing covers? Not that one. Where are my powders? Got the little ones. Are, oh, they're over here. Sorry if I'm reaching over the camera. I just thought of this, and that's why I'm not prepared for doing this. I obviously haven't embossed anything in a while because I can't find anything. embossing pad. I'm sure it's put up. That's why I can't find it. Right? Isn't that usually the case? When you can't find mean things because you put it up? Alright, I'm going to pause you just for a minute and try to figure out where it is. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. It was put up. I should have known. I want to make sure this has enough stuff here. So if I'm going to do like a little test over here. I can't really tell. Maybe I'll just use the dauber. I just don't feel like this. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I started to say, I don't feel like that dauber does anything, but I guess it's all right. All right, so let's do it like that. And then We'll put on our silver stuff here. Kind of give it a little tap from the bottom. Sorry, I'm probably off screen. Okay.
So let's emboss this now. I'll use the quieter gun so it won't be so loud. It'll take a little bit longer, but it won't be as loud. did make that bow up a little bit but it'll straighten back out when it cools off It is new. Now, what do we want to put in the top? Do we want a little piece of lace or a ribbon? I don't know. Oh, my edge came loose with the heat. So then that tag's gonna fit down in there, like that. And then this is just a little Tim Holtz card that I thought would look cute with it. When I make a pocket like this, I like to put several things in there. And I just thought that little alphabet thing, cause this kind of has like a child, child's theme to it, I believe. Um, I think that wallpaper is made to use like in a nursery, like a, a nature themed or, you know, animal themed nursery. And the colors are pretty gender, gender neutral, so you could use them. It could be used in a boy's or girls. I mean, you got the florals, but it's still not real feminine, in my opinion. Sorry, I had to get a drink of my tea. I feel like we may need a label or something down here, but the thing about this, I don't know if I have any labels that are not digitals. Hmm. What would our solution be? Let me look through my Tim Holtz books. Or not just Tim Holtz, but mainly Tim Holtz stuff. Tim Holtz. No, I don't think that goes. That's too. No, I 
don't like that either. Let's see if there's anything in here. I don't want to do another stamp. Let's see what I have in here. That's kind of gray. This is wallpaper. I mean, scrapbook paper. I don't know if that does anything for it. This little label that says sage. I don't want to cover up this. Again, that would be a tab on here. That'd be kind of cute, wouldn't it? Even like that. Two little brats. Let's do that. And we'll just leave the pocket how it is for now. But I like the idea of that on here with two little brats. All right, so let's glue it on first. Okay, now we'll poke a hole so I can put the brads through. Uh, 
Um, let's see if I can find two little silver ones. There's one. Ooh, that one's kind of bent. Hopefully it'll work. Here we go. Now, if you didn't want that to show, you could put another one of those on the back if you have that particular punch. I don't think I have another one punched out in here, but I do have that punch, so I can punch something to go on there. Or die cut. It's actually a die cut, I believe. No, I don't have one already cut. So, that's what I will do to cover the back of it. I will just die cut another one and then put it on the back and have it cover those brads. And I think I have enough of the green left yeah see I can punch it out of that and that should cover that in the back so that will be my solution for that so there we go do we want to add another stamp with a postmark on here no I don't think so I think I like the rabbit just like it is so the only thing left to do um, is to find something to go here and then I still feel like this little girl needs something. I just don't know what at the moment. So that's going to be my debate with myself probably for the next who knows how long. I mean, I could put another floral on there. Maybe. more of those berries that I put on the other one. It's big though. That's way too big. Just a plain floral is going to get lost. Everything else kind of doesn't go color wise.
Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Jumping out at me. Do I have another piece of the wallpaper we could do something out of? And of course, that big pieces. Way under my desk. Because I set it in the floor. So it wouldn't be in the way. What do we want to do, guys? I think we're going to leave it. I think we're going to leave it for a... For another day. That's the kind of thing that may be left to... When... You actually put it in a journal because you may think of something or you may come across something that's going to work, you know, a little better. See, there's this cute little post or stamp with bunny on it, but it's so faint. that you can't really see anything on there. We've got those little flowers. Head dog is adorable. It's too big. Let's cut out these flowers and see. Sorry, I feel like I've been fiddling with this forever.
Nope. Nope. That's not it. She needs something either stuck up under her arm right here or something down here. And I tell you what I could do is first of all, I could ground her and I think that would help a whole lot. So... I'm gonna take my all pen, my um, Stabilo all. And ground her a little bit. Take my water brush. And that will dry lighter. It won't be that dark when it dries. Alright, I'm going to leave it for now. Um, and uh, the only other thing I'll add is something up here. I just don't have anything close. Because I put everything up. <laughs> That's why I don't have everything within like reaching distances because I actually put everything up. So, something here and then I feel like something here for her to lean on. Um, a sentiment may be what I need. Um, or something like that. But when I decide, I will include that in the photograph at the end of the video so you'll see um what my probably hours of searching for what i wanted to do there so i hope you guys have liked that and um don't forget to look for wallpapers at your thrift stores and um you can get, sometimes you can get sample books from wallpaper stores where they're turning their line over or um, discontinuing the line. They'll give you the books um, for free. Um, and uh, I got my um, wallpaper that, this wallpaper at Habitat for humanity they always have a lot of wallpapers if you have one of those in your area so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys back tomorrow for i saw it on pinterest and i hope everybody has a good evening bye